I thought I was doing the right thing at the right time. At that age, it was exciting. It was a high, I gotta say that. It seemed surreal, like a movie you'd see through your own eyes. It wasn't until 1980, five years after the end of the Vietnam War, that the condition post-traumatic stress disorder was even identified. One minute we're in combat, next minute we're back home. It was just too much. You get so far down that you can't climb out. And that's when you either get help or that's it. It's very uncomfortable for him to talk about Vietnam. So by going there, I'll get to know a bit of his history. He'll be able to just show me, which may be easier than just talking about it. He brought something back from Vietnam. He's carried it with him for 40 plus years now. And I think he's gonna leave it behind. I hope he can. I wanna make sure that what I did was okay, that it was worthwhile to do. Everybody says, who's your hero? And I'm like, well, it's my father. It's the guy that taught me how to be who I am. Quitting is not an option. You will go to the failure point. Everything's changing. I'd also like to see what happened to those units that were left behind. We were supposed to pull a lot of people out of Vietnam, and we just left and abandoned them. I have been waiting 45 years to come here.